Hi, Sandy Highlander here. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a sneak peek at a couple of the tools that we cover in the Illustrator Beginners course here. These are just two of the many, many different things we cover off. Um, and it's a look at how you can actually break a path up. So we've got two shapes on the page here, two ellipses, and I've put quite a thick black stroke around the outside, so it makes it a little easier for you to see what's going on here. And what we're going to have a look at is we're going to have a look at the scissors tool and the knife tool, which are two ways of breaking a path up. Um, if I go over to the left here, you'll see the scissors tool here, and it's in the same group as the eraser and the knife tool. So I'll pick the scissors from there. The way the scissors tool works, and I'm going to use it on this top shape, you actually select points on the path where you'd like to break it. So I'll click here and click here, and it allows me to actually break that path up. So now if I drag that apart, you can see it's allowed me to break the path in half. And um, what I've effectively done is created two open paths now. So you can see the black stroke around there. It doesn't join up and close the path. It's left me with two open paths. If I now switch over to the knife tool, the knife tool works in a slightly different way. So rather than just cutting on the two paths, I'm going to actually go right through the middle here. And what the knife tool will do is it will actually join the paths back up and leave me with two closed paths. So you can see there I've got the two closed paths and I've got the shape in the curve that I actually drew through the middle there. So rather than leaving me with a couple of open paths, it leaves me with two closed paths and it joins the stroke up there, um, as you would expect with the knife tool. So that's the difference between the scissors tool and the knife tool. As I say, one of the many, many, many things we cover on our InDesign Beginners course. Thanks.